think your partner's cheating? Let Big Bay Morning set the love trap. All right, so Gabrielle is on the line this morning, and Gabrielle's calling on behalf of her sister Martha. So her sister Martha is engaged, but Gabrielle believes her sister is getting played by her fiance Patrick, and she wants to expose him for the liar and cheater that he is. Oh, uh, Gabriella, I take it your sister doesn't know you're doing this? <laughs> Absolutely not. Mm. Oh, man. Okay. If your sister is anything like mine, because my sister's name's also Martha, she's not going to be happy about this. <laughs> okay. Silly, right? I'm just based on, just based on the name. <laughs> yep. Well, so, yeah, what? You, you want to call them out before they tie the knot? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've never gotten along with Patrick. He always seems to be a player to me. You know, like I had that six. And he's also not that nice to my sister Martha. But Martha always defends Patrick no matter what he does. I warned my sister like, so many times about Patrick and was devastated when they got engaged a few years ago. Well, what you know, is it that you, well, what is it that you don't like about him? You don't like the, he, you just don't like the way he treats her or do you know anything about him cheating or anything? I mean, I just have this sense that he is, um, you know, he's just always been very, very sneaky and they've been engaged for two freaking years, you guys. And I'm, I was devastated when I heard about their engagement. And since then, my suspicion about Patrick has just grown because he won't set a wedding date. They've been engaged for two years? Yeah, I mean, he won't commit to a date. She's tried, and it's very upsetting for my sister because she just wants to stay with him, you know? Yeah. My family always tells me, they're like, just stay out of it. And about six months ago, I just gave up. You know, if my sister wants to be an idiot and no one else will listen to me, <laughs> I'm just going to stay out of it. You sound really riled up. But, okay, so you gave up six months ago. What, what has you back calling us trying to love trap him oh yeah i mean you're not gonna believe this i saw patrick at a bar with another woman i didn't see them kiss or hold hands but i could tell by their body language and how they were talking to each other that they were together i confronted him at the bar but he just called me crazy and left with that woman and i told my sister and you know what she didn't believe me (laughs) patrick completely has my sister brainwashed and this is the only way i can prove that patrick is cheating Mm. That's unfortunate. No, she's not alone. There are a lot of people like that out there. But so who's the woman? Mystery? Did you know her? Have you ever seen her? I mean, no, I've never seen this lady. Like if I knew her, I would have called her out. You know, I mean, I called his ass out. And you said he left with her though, after you stormed up to him or whatever you did, called him out. They left together. Yeah. I mean, we've never liked each other, but that's besides the fact because I know he's a liar. But she was definitely with him. If she left with him, they were together. Yeah, that means they showed up together. And body language is so telling like you don't even have to say anything you don't have to kiss like she said when you just it you could just tell like it is very obvious so i i'm pretty sure what you saw gabrielle is accurate yeah when she was sitting on his lap that was very telling <laughs> that body language <laughs> well you said you didn't see him kiss or hold hands but yeah the body language what you should have done gabrielle before you went up to him is just got a little video footage yeah that's what i was thinking too you always yeah. gotta get the the receipts the evidence i feel like gabrielle though is a <laughs> got a hot head yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. Didn't think. So where are we now? You said you told your sister about this run in at the bar and she did not believe you. Yeah. I mean, she, she didn't believe me. I called my sister and she just she's brainwashed. Like she really does not believe me. So I need mm-hmm. to prove right now that Patrick is cheating. I need some extra help since she thinks I'm crazy, too. Your sister is unaware of this. What you're doing here? Oh. Oh, she doesn't know. <laughs> she, she doesn't know. She'd be against this. I don't care. This is, yeah, this is not good. No. I mean, I get it. You're looking out for your sister. You don't want her to make a mistake, and she's not going to understand. She's not going to see it until you have proof. So, I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yep. Well, we'll call him. We'll set the love trap. But here's the thing. Even if he chooses another woman, that doesn't necessarily mean your sister is going to walk away from this engagement. It sounds like, as you said, that he has her brainwashed. Yeah, but hopefully this is the tell-all. Okay. Well, shall we do this? Man, she might be mad at you. I'm telling you, Gabrielle, but I get it. Do this for us, Gabrielle. Mute your phone. We're going to play a song. And when it's over, we'll call Patrick. We'll set the love trap. If we catch him, we'll call him out. All right. All right. Hang on. Hello, this is Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Good morning. My name is Chad, and I'm calling from Thorny Goat. And we are a brand new flower and plant shop in Santa Rosa. How are you this morning? Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, awesome. I'm just wondering, uh, you said flower shop? 
Yeah, we are a flower and plant shop. We opened uh, a little more than two months ago, and we're currently running a grand opening promotion where we're offering local residents free flowers. Uh, we're choosing a dozen winners a day to receive a dozen roses. Patrick, you are one of today's winners. And as a winner, you have a couple of options. What we can do is send the flowers to you or to someone of your choice. But we are talking free roses, free delivery anywhere in the Bay, man. So this isn't like a, like I'm not part of so any sort of like email chain or anything like that. This is just a free, free flower deal. It is. It's a one-time offer okay. and no, I'm not signing you up for anything. You're not going to receive any more phone calls from us or offers or anything like that. Um, again, we're just trying to get the word out there, you know, with the holidays here as well. A lot of people are purchasing flowers and we're hoping to get your okay. business, uh, not required, All but right. that that's the goal. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You know, I could actually use this. I'm kind of in the doghouse, so I can definitely use it. Roses will help. So I'll delete your name. And then what is the name of the recipient? Uh, let's go with Elisa. Elisa? Mm-hmm. Okay. What I will do since the uh, flowers are going to someone else is attach a card with them. So Elisa knows they're from you, Patrick. Uh, right now, the note's just going to say to Elisa from Patrick. But if you wanted, you could add a little message in there personalize okay. it uh yeah let's go uh just write down uh sorry about all the drama but i really do love you okay now what drama are you referring to are you talking about when your fiance's sister approached you in the bar i'm assuming elise is the one you went out with to the bar hold on got caught what? uh listen i don't know what who, who this is or what patrick um, my name is not Chad. My name is Benny. I am not calling from a flower and plant shop, but I am calling from a radio station. 99.7 Now, you're on the radio. Say hi to the Bay Area, and you're on what is called the Love what? Trap. It's where we catch Bay Area cheaters. What is going on, And dude? also on the line with us this morning is your fiance's sister, Gabrielle. You know she doesn't God, like you. you kidding me. She thinks oh you've been a D-bag and a cheater, and she wanted to uh, go ahead and prove it to her sister. Gabrielle, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I knew it. I knew it. You, I can't believe Listen, you. I, get, I, get, I, get, I, I don't know why you're on the phone. <laughs> and I finally have proof that you're playing my sister. You f- I can't wait for her to hear this. What's wrong yeah. with you? Like, okay. Do you want to turn your I'm entire not, family not, against you? This I'm is what's going to happen. The, That's what's going to happen. I'm not listening to this. You sound dumb for the world right now. I'm not the problem. You're the problem, but not for long. Nah. When my sister hears this, you're gone. Listen, your sister knows you're crazy, just like the rest of your family knows you're mm-hmm. crazy. Maybe you I'm can just crazy. see the man yourself. I'm crazy because you I can see through your, your, your... Wow, she's going to believe me. When she hears this phone call, it's done. I promise it that she's gonna hear it no, today. No, listen. It doesn't matter what she's. It doesn't matter what you say. Your sister's not gonna believe you. Do what you want, you're Gabrielle. Stuttering because um, you're nervous because you know I caught it's you. Gonna, listen, it's okay. gonna blow up in your face just like it always does. Okay, you're oh. not gonna have a relationship with your sister. After, you're the you know one what? who's not sure going to have a relationship sure with that. Martha. Wait, listen, Patrick. What makes you so sure that Martha is going to stick around? That she's not gonna believe her sister. You seem so sure of it. Like if you've done stuff before or something, and somehow always get away with it. Well, and there's proof now. I mean, she's going to hear this phone call. You're going to end up alone just like you deserve because you're a liar. You know what? You're a liar. Gabrielle, listen, you're not you even a good liar. To, Gabrielle, listen, you asked me to listen to you. Now you listen to me. Ew. I hope I never see you again. New love trap tomorrow morning. Wake up on Big Bay Mornings.